Hey everybody, welcome to day 90 of the 3Fit video blog. It is the end of the road for me. I'm going to stop working out and eat a lot of donuts. Just kidding. <laughs> um, basically, this whole program has been awesome. It's been a really good, enlightening experience for me. Um, hopefully, it's shed some light on what we can do for you, and that's the most important part. Um, let's see, where do I start? Um, I ate a ton of food, and honestly, I did not like eating as much as I did. It was pretty, pretty hard on my system. But the good news is I gained quite a bit of weight. Um, I went from 188 at 13% body fat to 193 at about 10% body fat. So not quite what my goals were initially, but I'm happy with the change. Um, with the squat, bench, and deadlift, um, on, the, on the bench press, I gained about 50 pounds. On the squat, I gained about 30 pounds. And on the deadlift, I gained about 50 pounds. And obviously those weren't my goals, of course, but the reason why I wanted to point all this out at once is because the goals that I had set out for were pretty lofty. Uh, and it's going to take me actually quite a while to achieve what my goals are, especially because I'm already an athlete. Um, it gets basically, it's like an exponential curve. So as I get more fit, it takes more effort to get even more fit than that. Uh, and you can think of like Olympic athletes who spend like hours and hours and hours and hours a day training, right? They're making, you know, less than half a second gain or, you know, uh, decrease in time on their sprint times. Or, you know, I think of Michael Phelps who swims like crazy, right? And he just shed, you know, a couple hundredths of a second on his, um, <clears throat> his swim meets, whatever. You know, so the more fit we get, we have to understand that we're going to have to put more effort into that fitness. So I know I've got a long road ahead of me to achieve those goals, but that's okay. You know, I'm not trying to make any gigantic gains in a short amount of time because I want it to be legit. I'm not going to do any steroids or all that other junk that's out there. Uh, this is all natural, and that's the way it should be. Um, let's see what else. The training was great. Uh, CJ programmed some good stuff for me. He was always on top of uh, keeping me engaged. Um, the The workouts were challenging. They weren't quite monotonous. Uh, you know, I had a lot of good input from him. He was there to coach me through a lot of the workouts too. So, you know, I had a lot of feedback from him. Um, and that made it enjoyable. You know, having a partner to train is great. Uh, and that's why people do personal training in the first place or why they do boot camps or stuff like that. Right? We want to have a community of like-minded people to, you know, engage in fitness and basically better our lives. And that's the whole point of training as well, right? So uh, I got a lot out of working with him. I've been working with Elizabeth for a long time. We've done meal planners before. And this was just a longer, uh, longer version of that, you know, so... I learned a lot of new recipes. I got to try a lot of foods that I wasn't wouldn't normally try, like the cream cheese strawberry sandwich. Probably never going to try it again, but you know it's fun to do it once, just so I could see what it was like. Uh, chicken mole that was also pretty um, in depth, but it was good. You know, some people like to make those types of meals, and, and that's kind of why I documented some of that so people can see what is possible with either weight gain or weight loss, depending on your goal. Um, so I'm pretty much happy where I'm at. I think my wife is happy too. Uh, that's always a good thing. And uh, I'm going to just continue to train and work hard. And I think what I'm going to do from here are post some video blogs here and there, try to create an, an exercise library potentially. Um, and you know, Elizabeth and CJ might contribute on, a, on that as well. We haven't quite set out a plan for that, but that's essentially where I'd like to go. Um, and I want you guys to stay tuned for the, uh, the max lifts that I attempted today. Uh, you'll see the squat, the bench, and the deadlift. Uh, what I tried to break it down into what I did at the beginning um, at my first assessments and then where I'm at now. So you can see my uh, max efforts and attempts there. So thanks again for watching and uh, share with all your friends. Tell everybody you know and email us. If you have any questions, check out the website. All this stuff is going to be on the website. It's also on YouTube and it's also on Facebook. So like us on Facebook, and have an awesome day. Thanks for watching. All right, so we're here to check out the max lifts. So I'm going to be doing 325, which was my max at the beginning of the briefing program. So let's see how this feels. Bad. All right. 
All right, so we got 345 on the bar. So this will be a 20 pound jump from when I started. Try 355. We'll see how it goes. I don't know if you can see it, but the bar is slightly bent right here, so I'm kind of kind of feeling good about this. Slash, a little nervous. We'll see. See so you guys over here. He's giving me some coaching through the uh, through the lifts. <laughs> on the bench and this was the weight that I started with so we'll see how it goes. Keep in mind I have to do a uh, close grip here because of my shoulder injury so it does make it a little bit harder because it uses different muscles but I get more strength for the muscles so that's how I'm looking at it. Alright, 255. All right, we're trying 275 now. Let's see how it feels. gentlemen and give me a lift off here so I can keep my lats very engaged and keep my shoulders supported through the uh, start of the lift. So one, two, three. Got it. You got it. You're so close. Oh. Oh. So close. Maybe five pounds too heavy. Oh. oh well. The good news is I've gained a lot of strength so far. I started at 250 and I've made at least 45 pounds of strength, so uh, I am still very happy with my bench press. So, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the deadlifts. All right, we're here with the deadlift. This is 405, and this is what I started my 90 day program with. Check it out. This will be my PR ever in life. So I'm pretty stoked about trying this out. The 405 felt really good. I know I've made a lot of improvements thus far, so here it goes. Go back. Yeah! Oh, awesome. All right, so since I'm a for punishment, I gotta try a 465. This is, this is gonna be it. We'll see how it goes. CJ's gonna be yelling at me for this one, so pay attention. <clears throat> Hold that. Come on, keep going. Ah! Nope. Nope, not even close. Alright, 455 is the max. <laughs> 